Speaking with Kaylin Berry, a cancer survivor and football player at Carrollton Newman Smith High School. First of all, welcome. How are you? How are you? I'm great. Must feel very, very good to be amongst your teammates as the season winds down. Uh, yeah, since we're having a good season, undefeated in district, and about to have fun at this parade, so everything's going good. When the cancer was first diagnosed, did you think you would be standing here talking, doing an interview like this, and, and part of a, a football team, a winning football team this year? Uh, I knew I knew I'd still be like standing with the team and everything, but I didn't think I didn't think about all the interviews that would be happening uh, that came with it. So, it, so uh, that's it, pretty much. How scared were you when you were first diagnosed and when you were going through the chemotherapy? Uh, I was really scared. Uh, I just wanted to like know when's the next time I can uh, be on back on the football team, football field. Now you're quite an inspiration to these guys. I'm thinking they're quite an inspiration to you as well. Oh uh, yes, sir. Uh, how they uh, do everything, uh, working out and all the long, long uh, practices that they go through is an inspiration to me because if they can do it, why can't I? Why can't I be out there with them? Describe the scene when you came back. You walk into the locker room right before, I believe it was a game, and it got very emotional. Uh, yeah, it was a McKinney North McKinney North game, and uh, Jaquise had just passed and everything like that. So, And they haven't seen me since I told them I've been diagnosed with cancer, so everything, everything was real emotional and uh, tears and everything like that. Now, don't you wish you were out on the football field playing defensive back? closing on receivers yes uh yes sir uh today in practice we actually uh went over it for our, our upcoming game mm. talk about your future you're preparing for college now yeah uh, i plan to major in kinesiology uh, i got four schools i'm looking at right now uh louisiana tech north texas uh university of texas san antonio and uh, louisiana monroe but before that, how far do you think this football team headed for the playoffs can go? Uh, we can go deep uh, as long as everybody keep their heads straight and to keep their grades up and uh, just keep on uh, pushing through, keep on fighting. What can you say about the character of this football team? Lost a player last year. There have been some illnesses to some players, and yet this team with a losing record last year headed to the postseason this year. Uh, we just... We just got uh, some strong kids, and uh, we can uh, deal with adversity no matter how big, how tough it is. I know Coach Paul Ress has been very supportive of you during your uh, comeback. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, every, last year, uh, when I wasn't able to like go to all the practices and things like that, he'll like text me, and see how I'm doing, everything like that, keeping updates uh, on the team, giving me updates on the team. I want to ask you a real important question. Here we are in Dallas Cowboy territory. Does it matter that Paul Ress is from the Philadelphia area originally and is a big Eagles fan? Uh, not to me because I'm a big San Diego's fan, so, <laughs> so uh, I'm not really a big Cowboys fan. Kalen Berry, God bless you. We're so glad that you're doing well. Thanks for doing the interview, and uh, good luck the rest of the way. All right. Thank you.